Welcome back to Spirit Music Meetups. Mike Burris here. We're looking at uh, some Rhema words, dreams, visions here, uh, November 3rd, uh, 2020. This is a dream that uh, God gave me that I stand by. I, I don't know the timing of things. God always baffles me when it comes to timing. This is a dream of God using Trump to keep promises to get God's job done. Now, this was way back in November, so we'll see. We're still waiting. Trump was uh, talking to a judge at our house for an hour while in this dream while I waited for him in his minivan. I was waiting for him in his minivan. And I, you know, I don't have, I'm not really a political guy, so this is always baffling to me. I mean, when God gives you dreams, it makes you political. Uh, when he got back, I asked why so long. You know, Trump is not perfect. He is just like every man in history, flawed in every way. But God used every man in history. You know, David was seriously flawed. So much blood on his hands, he wouldn't, God would not allow him to build the temple. Solomon, you're going to have to build the temple. David's got too much blood on his hands. You know, but wasn't it for you, God, that I did this? Yeah, he kind of went a little overboard. You know, he killed like 10,000 people one time just by himself. You know, that's that's supernatural. But he just, he slayed them. He didn't even try to take them as prisoners. He just slayed them. He got really wrapped up in the in the violent part. part. Anyway, there's a lot of imperfect people all through history. You see God using very, very imperfect, very flawed, you would say, how could they even be considered Christians? Jehu was a king in Israel. Jonathan Kahn talks a lot about this. He was a, a, a you know, a, a, a king in Israel. His parallel to Trump is just uncanny. Go look at Jonathan Kahn, Jehu, Trump. Just go Google that. Amazing. Cyrus, pagan king of Persia, God used a, a king, a pagan, not even a, not even a Jew. Well, how can he do this? He uses them to bring great glory to his people Israel. He uses them to free Israel, to get God's job done. So people in the church really screwed up. They they allow people like Joel Olstein to. They don't say anything bad about Joel Olstein, but and oh my goodness. And there's others, you know. Remember Jim Baker, you know, caught in so much corruption. And, oh, my God, this goes on. So many corrupt people. Nobody talks. Oh, I shouldn't say nobody. A lot of people won't talk, you know, critique them, but they'll critique Trump. I don't get it. Uh, you know, so they're, they're, they're like just, there's double standards everywhere. So he's, he's imperfect. He's got all the flaws of man. So did Paul. Paul was Saul. He had Christians killed in the droves, but God used Saul. He used Paul, big time. When he got back, um, so I was waiting for him in his minivan. When he got back, I asked why so long. So this is, he's out of the picture for a while. I don't know what that means. I think it's been a while, hasn't it? He said that she had ruled against him, the judge had ruled against him often, and so he thought it would be good to build more of a relationship with her. A lot of people say that when you really find out and you see his interactions with people, they're really gracious. I told him that this set me behind in getting to my music gig in time. My wife was with me too. He said not to worry because he would get me there in plenty of time. So he took hold of the steering wheel and he drove. You know, he's a very forthright guy. Man, he's, he's, a lot of people said his face is like flint. Nothing's going to bother him. It's going to roll off the back. It's because he's very sure of himself, uh, very egotistical. And that really bothers a lot of Christians too. But my gosh, have you looked at some of the people leading churches? Really egotistical. They're just really good con artists. Really good con artists. But they're so full of themselves. So nobody, nobody's going after them. You know, it's just so superficial. It's so uh, hypocritical. These 
some of these same people were criticizing Trump. <laughs> and they're the ones that are so high and mighty off, right? What is that all about? Draw, uh, you know, when you criticize somebody, there's three fingers pointing back, back at you. And now it can sort of get four fingers pointing down at you. So anyway, it's all bad. And I saw a lot of finger pointing in it by, from people in the church, so-called somebodies. Trump drove us straight through a massive golf course. I, he's, he, he loves golf. I didn't even really know that. Taking the shortcut as the crow flies. You know, I was like, why did I have a golf course dream? Because he loves golf. I found that out. Well, it makes a lot of businessmen make a lot of big deals on the golf course. Uh, you talk to politicians on the golf course. It was crazy. We were going down. It's a, and also, when you're really busy, you got to find a way to stay in shape. i got to go to the gym. What time is it? Yeah, 4.39. Okay. i got to go to the gym. We were going down these big hills over bumps and rocks and through the roughs, you know, that rough grass, where, uh, with golfers just staring at us. It didn't even phase Trump what others thought of him. No kidding. Like, he just rolls right off his back, you know, like like water on a, on a duck. Uh, he made a promise he was going to keep, and he's really all about, he really is about that. And he was direct about it. He went straight across the golf course, unflinchingly determined about it, and knew how to get the job done, period. Regardless of what others say, he, he just gets the job done. I told my wife, and like a bull in a china shop. That's what people don't like about him. He's like, you know, I knew people at work that were like bulls in china shops. And they didn't like, they didn't like those people because they got things done. They were critical. We could not afford to lose them. And uh, John Bruce and Gay, Ehud Gavron, we could not afford to lose them. But they didn't take flack from nobody. And uh, they just told it like it is. They called out the fake news big time, all the time, bulls in china shops. I told my wife that his other car, Trump, drove me in, was much smoother, as like a Cadillac. He heard me and interrupted, proudly, proudly telling us exactly the type of tank-like car that it was and, and what was so special about it. He, he was bragging about it. All I knew was that you couldn't feel darn thing in it. <laughs> it was amazing. When I woke, I thanked the Lord for putting Trump at the steering wheel of America once again. Now, this was a long time ago. Now, God really looks into the future for making him so direct and unswerving in his 